You guys, we have just made it to our London Airbnb. We are staying in Shoreditch in this beautiful, beautiful space. So it's dark outside right now. You might not get the full view. We got in a bit late, but this place is awesome. <laughs> Look at the floors, so cool. Couch. Little bedroom. Big windows. Here's the main door. Bathrooms in here. You gotta see these pictures of Tyler. Oh no. This is the kitchen. The kitchen is so nice. I'm really excited to cook in here. Yeah, look at those floors. Incredible. Mm, it's very overexposed all of a sudden. But I know I mentioned this in my Ireland videos, but if you guys ever want to travel on Airbnb and you haven't yet, I'll link a $40 Don't discount below. That's how we pay for this place. Oh, oh. thanks, Kaylee. <laughs> no thanks to yeah. them. Yeah, thank you guys. It's very appreciated. But yeah, I would totally live here. It's so cute. This room's my favorite. We took public transit here, which I am proud of us for actually doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna freshen up because we left Galway at like 8 a.m. this morning. Wow. And drove I didn't think about that. to Dublin, which is like a few hours. Returned our rental car, sat at the airport for a while. Oh, yeah, we sat at the airport for like five hours or something, <laughs> and we should have checked into our flight beforehand. I don't know if you guys have ever flown with Ryanair before, but they charge you check-in fees if you don't check in online like two hours before your flight, and we missed it by like 10 minutes or something, and we got charged 100 euros. <laughs> And we, both, were, we were there for hours. Yeah, we were there. We totally could have checked in already. I don't know. We just didn't think about it. And we've flown with them before. I don't know why we didn't yeah. register. But if you guys have a flight with them soon, this is your reminder to check, check in. in. Right now. Um, but it was fine. And then we flew to Gatway, which is further away. Yeah, is that Gatwick what? is what it's called. <laughs> yes. You kind of mixed Galway and yeah. Gatwick together. <laughs> um, a little jet lag still. And then we didn't realize how far away it was. Yeah. Bad it it wasn't bad at all. The public transit here was incredible. Yeah. So easy. Took an hour probably to get here. Yeah. Really simple. Really quick transfers. Got here. Lugged the suitcase around a while. Up yeah. some stairs. We're lugging like a 50 pound suitcase around. We only brought one suitcase for our trip. So now... Shower time, food time. I'm so excited yeah, to go I'm to so dinner. Messy. But where are we going to go? I don't know. We got recommended a lot of good vegan restaurants from you guys. So I'm excited. And yeah, I guess we'll keep you updated. <laughs>
you see. Never worn out, brand new. $100, $11 shipping, doesn't say our brand. Yes, it does, it says it up there. Well, the brand is listed as other, because you can't just type in any, oh. I love a good Airbnb. And a good score. <laughs> we have coffee and we are using our projector, but we just watched the Margiela Couture show on it. But here we are on Avery's Instagram, even though it's very overexposed. You can't even really tell. Let's see. Quick. Oh! Oh. It's a bit of a rainy day outside today, but honestly, it's really pleasant. I'm so glad that we had like light pouring and stuff. How are you feeling this morning? I am ready to get to it. Yeah, me too. I think Although it's supposed I'm to stop raining soon. From dinner last night. I think your back camera was cloudy, by the way, in case you want to redo it. No, it's okay. <laughs> They'll bear with it. Yeah. But I was going to say, I was really excited for breakfast food. Mm -hmm. Even last night when we were at dinner, I was like, oh, our breakfast is going to be hot. Yeah. But I think I'm still full from last night. Yeah, last night's dinner was really good, I thought. <laughs> it was a bit expensive, but we got drinks and whatnot, too. I think it ended up being, like, $60 for both of us. Um, we got, like, five things and drinks, and it was a good experience. Not that far from my Airbnb. So... Thanks for that recommendation, you guys. We have so many recommendations. I have like hundreds of messages in my Instagram DMs to go through, but it's cool because a lot of them are the same. And I don't know how many of you actually live in London or if you've just visited and went to those, but it's interesting how everyone's connected in some way. Are these bags already for sale? Yeah, I think they are actually. Because they're dumb hot, but look how bad it looks here. Actually, it's kind of cute. But yeah. Product cloud burst. <laughs> no, they're already for sale, I think. Because when I was searching for my bag that got lost in the mail, that one kept coming up in white. Oh, really? mm -hmm. With some good luggage tags. Mm -hmm. I just saw that old coat, though. Any update? I've been asked for updates on my bag situation since I posted that video, and I still haven't got my money back. I think it kind of seems like I will eventually, though. They said, so FedEx, who delivered it, closed their investigation and said that it's like for sure lost basically but um the company i bought it from says they i have to wait another month for them to see but hopefully oh my god what? <laughs> uh, you see the picture he has pulled up on the projector right now hopefully for some reason the bag can get returned to them though if it was really lost i am feeling a bit more hopeful about that because i had to pick up a package at the post office the other day and it was an international depot package i shipped in october and the girl just said that it was never delivered and i refunded her um for a pair of like trousers that i sold her on depop but then i picked them up at the post office like months later and they're fine so maybe there's hope maybe not though like i don't even want my money back i just want the bag <laughs> but i would like one or the other probably i don't know what we're gonna get into today though I need to like shower and get ready. I look really gross. Um, but I'm excited to be here, liking it so far. So red. Hi you guys, we are now back at our Airbnb. We've actually been back here for a while, but I thought I would kind of wrap up today because I feel like I never do that. Avery's editing right now. I am trying to plan our day for tomorrow. It's actually already 1am, sadly. Um, 
but tomorrow we have a fabric show that we're going to and we're probably just gonna hang around around that area for a while so just trying to map it all out I also need to be doing some editing though I have vlog clips from like the past three weeks that I just haven't had a chance to put together yet so I need to be doing that but we have some customer service emails we need to respond to now we actually have an out of office message that we set up but still responding pretty quickly hopefully I can get this video up before I leave London but I do have quite the amount to put up but if any of you guys gave us recommendations they're very appreciated everywhere that we've went so far has been amazing same for Ireland I think I might do some blog posts like wrapping up the places that we went to in case anyone's visiting although you should probably take local recommendations but if you don't have any friends in the area maybe they'll be helpful anyways I'm going to get to this. Just wanted to say good night.